Deep under the ground, underneath a million-year-old limestone mountain range, is a place full of precious mineral, desired by investors. Gold. We don't want it. We won't give in. I feel protective because I live here, eat here, grew up here. I want to be able to breathe easily. Mining is not just a common issue. We have to fight, no matter what it takes. The locals know very well that the approval of a gold mine concession will bring disaster to their hometown. Thus, a network was formed in order to protect nature and the environment, which has long been nourishing the people of Nguyen Ma Prang. Gold defeats gold is the non-violent way of fighting which the people of Nguyen Ma Prang use in order to prove that valuable resources above ground are infinitely more precious than gold from under the ground. I was inspired while I was attending a training course on community-led health impact assessment. I got to know about a community called Tha Sala, where a deep sea port would be constructed. Now the way they fight is more than just filing a complaint. They use powerful and rational evidence that can attest to the pros and cons of the impact from mining. So I decided to do the same. By simply collecting data, an unbelievable fact has been revealed. More than 9,600 hectares of land in Nguyen Ma Prang district is used for growing mangoes which brings in 1 billion US dollars of revenue per year, while the expected royalty fee the government will get from a gold mine concession is only about 1 to 15 million US dollars per year. To be able to do the mango export business, you must have GAP certification, which focuses on land condition. The land must not have been a site of any factories. If there's a gold mine here, it's like there's a factory, which means there are contaminants. Once the mangoes are contaminated, they absolutely cannot be exported, so the mine is certainly going to affect us. The locals live here and make a living here. Crop rotation is their way of living. Right now, both water and air are in good condition. They're having the balance of nature something which is valuable beyond compare. What we will lose is like gold on the ground. We should feel protective of it and preserve it. Shouldn't let anything destroy it. A large forest with a fertile ecosystem in Nguyen Ma Prang district is on the borderlines of three provinces. It's the forest which the locals have worked together to preserve since 1985. The community's way of life and the community forest are inseparable. There is food, herbs, and firewood in the forest. After childbirth, the ancients lay near the fire for sanitation. If they ran out of firewood, then the forest provided. They picked herbs from the forest to boil for new moms. The community forest has been nourishing our lives. Is it worth it to lose the view, beautiful caves, and beautiful mountains? It's like you wipe out all the lives by throwing a bomb. I've never seen anywhere that nature could be revived. No one in this world can create nature.
with a loving and protective feeling he has for his hometown. And in order to make it well known, Pisanachai Songput, or Toon, spends part of his time telling people about the beauty of the area via Facebook. This results in community tourism, which helps generate income and makes Nguyen Ma Prang a national treasure. The picture you posted on Facebook was the picture of the area on this mountain. What happened after you posted? A lot of people have seen it. 1.3 million viewers in one week. Those who will visit my hometown will be the ones who help protect it. People who've seen this picture want this place to last long and be preserved. Today, if we don't unite, or explain to the young ones, or raise consciousness, or create understanding that we should love our hometown, we may have a mine built right here. Then, resources like nature or bats that we used to see will disappear without us even knowing it. We must have the right to design our own destiny. Our ancestors lived here, and they didn't teach us to destroy natural resources. We and nature mutually depend on each other. Mountains have been standing here before we were born. Our ancestors told us to protect the land and the mountains in every way that we can. 